Hello everybody. I hope you're all doing fine. Uh, I hope everyone's uh, staying safe. Um, I'm showing up, putting up this video to kind of pitch a little product so that uh, we can kind of get through uh, turning in our assignments. Um, and this product's called Cam. It's an app, uh, not a product, but it's an app. It's called Cam Scanner. And um, the reason why I'm trying to get people to go ahead and uh, use it is so you can kind of scan your homework. You guys know that you know chemistry has kind of a it's got a different little bit of a um, challenge than your other classes because we don't really do a lot of typing and you know assignments. Some assignments I can go ahead and have you type answers. Other assignments look like this, right? You got to turn in your 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 calculations and show your work, right? And so you, we have problems that look like this. Sometimes you have more than one page. Okay. So one thing I was thinking of is you just take a picture and you can send it in, but then. Your pictures are just like one page at a time. And each one is like three megapixels, two to three mega, um, I'm sorry, not megapixels, but megabytes. So, um, you know, when they're that big, uh, it's gonna take up a lot of space. Let's say you have, you know, five pages, or, you know, one of, the, one of your assignments right now is like nine assignments. Uh, I don't know how many pages that's gonna end up being. So imagine each one of those, let's say it was 10 pages, 10 times five, uh, three megabytes, it's gonna be 30 megabytes. Uh, a lot of emails won't take 30 megabytes. So if we can put them into a PDF file, scan them into a PDF file, it's much smaller. And so it makes it much easier to go ahead and uh, submit it. So if you have a scanning machine that you can use and you can turn it into a PDF file, that's great. PDF files seem to be much uh, smaller, much more compact. Um, I did a PDF file the other day of, of three pages and it took less than a megabyte. So, um, if you can go ahead and scan them in to a PDF file, it works so much better when you have like a homework. This way I can go ahead and collect your homework, give you credit for it. Uh, right now, that last homework assignment that I hadn't collected yet, the homework packet that I was gonna collect on the next test, um, that's got about nine assignments in it and you don't have credit for that. Right, so I probably won't be doing a lot of this going forward while we're you know online learning but uh, what you already have, I'd like to see if I can go ahead and get it to you as a PDF file. And you can go ahead and upload it into the assignment in School Loop, and then I can go ahead and open it up, check it, give you credit right there for it, okay? Um, so let me go ahead and show you this Cam Scanner. And you don't have to use Cam Scanner, you can use whatever, but this seems to work pretty well. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so here's my phone. And, and uh, so, Let's say you want to look for it. You just go onto the App Store, and whoops, it's already there. <laughs> but you just search for, type in Cam Scanner. There it is right there. And you might get some scanner for me, some other products there up there too. That might work for you. Uh, I don't know. But what works best for me was this Cam Scanner. I think there was like a price to it, um, but. You, it's a free version. I downloaded this last uh, September, and it's still free for me to use. So if you download that to your uh, cell phone, Cam Scanner, okay. Then once you've downloaded it, installed it, uh, let's see. For me, it's right over here. You click on it, you open it up, and whoops, I've got the one that I just did already. Um, when you open it up, it'll give you something like this. Now, I've got some old documents in there, so you might not get this exactly, but you will get the camera down at the bottom. And so all you do is you take your documents, your assignments that you want to turn in here, like these guys, and put them together in a PDF file. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down right here. And I'm going to go ahead and push on the uh, camera thing here. Up will come the, the, the camera. And you'll notice here at the bottom here, I don't know if you can see it, if it's too blurry, but it says ID card, single, batch, uh, question book. Use the batch. The batch is going to go ahead and allow you to take several pictures and put them all together. Right. So let's watch how this happens. That's how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead. I've got it set for batch. I need to go ahead and take, let's see, a picture of my first one. Then a picture of my second page. And now notice that I've got a little two right here. That means that my PDF file right here has two pages to it. 
and then my third page this one's only going to be three pages but it can be longer click on that okay and now what i have right here is i have my pdf and i click on this button right here it shows me my pdfs right there okay and i can edit them i can edit each one of the pages that's going to be in this pdf and once i'm ready uh, you're probably not going to need to edit much go back to continue here and then you click on where was the share you click the check on the you, it was in that section you click check. oh yes okay i had to click on that click on the check that's the check marked at the bottom and then now at the bottom here it says share so i can go ahead and there's a pdf uh preview there's all kinds of stuff you can go ahead and do um if you go ahead and click share you can type pdf and see right here this is 0.9 megabytes that's not bad three pages not even one megabyte if i hit pdf uh, that's not the greatest picture but <laughs> um i can go ahead and share it and i can share it to my gmail notes oh look i can even share it to classroom or my drive so anyway i'm going to go ahead and do gmail and I'm going to share it to my Gmail. Okay. I think maybe I'll put, like, you know, chem work. Chem work. And I send it. And it's sending. It's a relatively small file. And if I go ahead and check my Gmail. Now, I did this really quickly, so my first picture was really bad. But if I go to my Gmail, I open it up, I send, I'd send it to my Gmail. If I push on the PDF, there's my PDF. Ooh, that first one was really bad. So, you can go ahead and send in 